let's learn about the uh, automation of file copying process so we uh, did a tutorial on file handling operations in linux in the terminal and we learned different terminal commands and one of those commands was this copy command that was cp the name of your source file and the name of your destination file that was this command so we can use all those commands which we learned in that tutorial there were many commands copy commands uh, move commands that was for cut and paste and uh, many others delete command and and so on so we can use all those commands in a file in a script right we can use that to perform uh, to automate our different processes so uh, first of all let's look at the script first of all I have this, I have written this shebang line at the at the start of my script. And then I have created two variables, which are source and target. Source is my source file from which I will copy and I will paste in my destination file, which is named as target here. And these are the two files, file one and two, which you can see here. This is my folder uh, of lab five. And I have file one here and file two here. And this is actually our script. So I have, uh, written the path of file one and two here. These are the paths. Okay, now uh, we can uh, just write this statement. We can just write cp dollar source and dollar target. That will do our, uh, our work. That will copy what we want. But I also want to know if my file was successfully copied or not, or if there was any error. I wanna know that. So for that, I will use an if else statement. So I will write if, and then here you will write the uh, your command for copying and you can notice that there are no square brackets here so when i when you're writing commands you don't need to write square brackets here so i've written that and then we have the then keyword echo and if okay so now when this uh, uh, this command will run it will give two outputs if it is run successfully it will output one it will give a one and one is true so if it returns one that means my file was copied successfully but if it returns zero or false that means my file was not copied successfully it failed so this is my script a very small script and i have run it you can see the output of this uh, script here this is the output and you can use any other command of your choice here so you can use move command delete command, concatenation command, that was cat command, and many other. The, the cat command I'm talking about was this cat, and then these two operators for concatenation, appending, right? So there were many other commands, and you can, you can use that, and you can perform the process of automation on different commands. So why is this helpful? So let's say right now I have just one file, and this is another file, so I'm just copying one file to another file. Right, and I can simply do that here in the terminal. I don't need it need to do it in the script. But uh, imagine, let's say you have you want to copy some files, and let's say there are there are some fifty files. Just for the sake of argument, let's say there are fifty files. So uh, won't this thing will be better? Uh, writing in a, in terminal fifty times is not that uh, not that convenient, right? So if you just uh, run a loop here, you write a loop, and you write the statement inside that loop. Won't that be easy? That will be very convenient to just run the loop 50 times and write the statement one time. Or, or let's say you are in some room, some lab or something where there are many pieces. Let's say there are 10 pieces there and you have to perform that copy operation in all of those 10 pieces. So is that convenient to go to every PC and then uh, execute this command on every terminal? Or even if you can access them all through one screen, is it convenient to access the write that command, copy command on every terminal? on every PC? No. The convenient thing is that you write one script and then you run that script on all of those systems. Th this was just one example just for the sake of argument. There are many loopholes in this uh, state, in this scenario, but uh, this was just for the sake of argument that why is uh, automation process important? Why is it necessary? What is the significance of automation process? It's just for that.